The video you are about to watch features the reflections that Becky and I made on our year at St Peter Mancroft in Norwich as part of the Creating Space for God Ministry Experience Scheme. This video is taken from our final service of the year, which we planned, put together and streamed on Facebook on Sunday the 19th of July, and we are being interviewed by Fiona, Associate Priest at St Peter Mancroft and Coordinator for the year. Thank you, Michael and Becky. Um, just want to say before we begin with the questions, just how much we've enjoyed having you with us. Thank you for all the good things that you've sown among us. Um, I'm sure that we will be reaping the harvest from your really good work um, for a long time to come. And having you with us has been such a joy and a blessing. So thank you very much for all you've given us. Um, and now we're going to grill you, <laughs> as it were, to find out um, something about your experiences this year and hopefully um, continue learning from you as we move forward. So the first question I'm going to put to you um, has a very obvious answer really but but it is how has the year been different from what you expected? Well um, I don't think a year ago we imagined doing a Zoom <laughs> is the uh or anything facebook live um but i think what you know other than that um quite obvious thing i think for me i didn't think i'd be given uh the chance to have any kind of like freedom to try things as much as i have been able to um you know my first service within a month of being here i put together a service based on just one psalm and reflecting on that um i never imagined that at all um you know becky and i put together a, a still a service on just stillness um teze um again yeah. yeah so it's just that chance for freedom to try things and reflect on that afterwards and see what worked for me i think i didn't really know what to expect when I started in September. Um, and I definitely did not expect to be doing this in this format today. Um, I also didn't expect to enjoy theology as much as I have done. Uh, so that's what's, that's what's different for me, I think. I think I'd say, um, both of you have been absolutely brilliant of just doing things and nothing seems to have phased you at all, which has been really brilliant from our point of view. Just having young people with us who are just prepared to give things a go is just so great. So thank you. Thank you. Um, it's not all been plain sailing, I'm sure. So what, what have you found hard this year? I mentioned a second ago about not thinking I would enjoy theology and to start with I didn't. I found it really challenging. I found going to London and talking to Sam Wells quite challenging because he is fantastic and I had no experience at all with any sort of theology. So for me I think that's what I found the hardest but I have learned to enjoy it and I have learned a lot from it so I'm glad I stuck with it. Um, I think for me that's sort of the hardest challenge um, I came from a parish where there weren't many people um, on you know sort of leadership roles and so if you wanted to do something you kind of just went ahead and did it and that was fine whereas here, one of the beauties of Mancroft is uh, the amount of people, not only on the ministry team, but wider field, um, you know, working with uh, your bell ringers, your flower arrangers, your music team. And so going, oh, I've got a really crazy idea for a service. I've now got to translate that into ways that other people can um, bring their many gifts uh, to it and make it better rather than just being a one man 
uh, team. Um, I think that sort of stems a little bit from my, my background as a music director. Um, I was very much in charge of music, so I just went and did it. Um, so yeah, that's been good, um, learning how to work with others. Thank you. Um, what surprised you about this year? Um, I think what surprised me, uh, one, what, you know, what I've learned is, uh, new, what, the different ways that you can, you know, different liturgies and different ways you can worship and celebrate, um, God and Jesus in, yeah, in ways I'd never thought of, I, you know, again, from my, my background is very much, it's quite a set liturgical pattern of, you know, you do Eucharist and you do it in a set way. And that's lovely. And I'm not having a go at that at all, but actually to have the freedom of um, being able to do other things, especially at the, uh, the alternative services, um, just to go, well, here's a blank page, um, make something that's work, make worship happen with that. Um, that sort of that yeah that very much surprised me i was surprised by the fact that a lot of ministry isn't doing or talking it's actually just listening and being with people which i oh, becky said the key word there oh i did i did <laughs> oh. Um, yeah, it's more about listening and just being with people, which I think I knew, but I didn't know to the extent that I know it now. It's perhaps worth saying that being with is one of the big ideas that comes from Sam Wells and the Heart Edge Network. So um, in case anyone was a bit puzzled by being with, um, <laughs> and that's one of the foundation stones of the the theological engagement you've been doing so um yeah so what have the highlights been i've really enjoyed just working in a team um all of the things that we've done in the various teams so church without walls with michael and graham or any of the ministry fun things um i think have been my highlights noah's ark i really enjoyed as well which is a toddler group that did run on a Tuesday morning. Um, so yeah. um, I think the highlights for me, um, preaching for the first time. Um, it's something I'd always sort of been drawn to, but never had the opportunity. And yeah, I, I found I enjoyed it more than I thought I would. Um, not necessarily the the preaching aspect, but the, the reading, the reflecting, the writing aspect for. Um, and then just, I loved, I've loved our, um, the Shepherd Scholar, um, program. So that's our, our going to London, meeting with Sam Wells, engaging with those interesting texts, um, and seeing how those relate to ministry and our, our role, um, here, but then also encountering the different people who were on that with us. Um, from all over the country and hearing their stories and um, engaging with them um, and sort of seeing that there's a there's something bigger than just our little corner of Norwich you know there's ministry is going on um, on a far wider context which is um, yeah really heartening I think I'd agree with all of that as well actually <laughs> We, yeah. Um, do you think the experience of being with us has changed how you think about ministry and faith? I've definitely grown in my faith for coming here. Um, I've been made to think about things that I hadn't previously thought about, either consciously or subconsciously. Um, so I think I've got a better understanding of my faith now which I quite enjoy having. So, 
yes is the simple answer to that I think it's opened me up to um, other way, yeah, a, a broader sense of being a Christian and what that means and, um, you know, how I, what my sort of vocation, my role is within um, that wider uh, picture and in God's kingdom. Um, yeah. Yeah, that's it. <laughs> And this question's for Becky. Um, what do you think you're going to miss? Everything. <laughs> I miss everything. Um, oh, that's a really hard one because there is so much that I will miss. Um, I think, first and foremost, the community of Mancroft is a beautiful, wonderful, very welcoming community that I feel so blessed to have been a part of. So I'm definitely going to miss everyone. We miss you too. So, um, and for Michael, you're staying with us, which is wonderful. Uh, how do you hope to develop your role in the next year? Um, so I've, um, as m many of you will know, I've taken over the comms side, so the social media, the website. Um, so one of the things I'm looking into is how I, I want to develop with that and with myself is how we use um our online presence as a as a really um substantial presence of uh jesus in the in the world and tap engaging with people um people on the fringe of church who have been engaging with us online um so how can we as we move back into um worship in church how can we sort of like blur those lines of online and physical and help people engage with both fully. And I just want to continue my development and growth as a more rounded person, a more rounded Christian, because um, I think that will really benefit me um, in the future. Thank you. And what do you think Mancroft might look like in the future and that possibly going to be a very different answer from the answer you would have come up with six months ago yeah i think it's going to be i think it's going to be very different we as michael said you're going to be blurring the lines between online and in person and i think that's brilliant um i don't what well, question i think i think that you will all grow as a church community i think that would be beautiful i think i'd like it um to be somewhere where we keep we just keep engaging with people in new ways and being open to the possibilities um making Mancroft a place of deep encounter. Um, yeah. So, yeah, and really um, playing to the fact it's in the middle of a city. And, yeah. And this is sort of linked, really. What advice do you think you would offer us going forward? I think my advice would be um, we're now certainly with everything that's gone on this year um, we're now in a new age and things I think it's embracing that embracing change and that change can be can be a good thing um, you know trans you know that transformative side and embra embracing that and trying to it's really tricky because you wouldn't have thought of it a year ago um what the situation we're now in but trying to see if we can be ahead of the curve or at least on the curve in terms of what 
people need and at that time um and don't but don't be with all that as we try new things don't be scared of things going wrong um we are human things go don't always go to plan um but we learn from that um you know the technology has been a massive learning curve it hasn't gone perfectly all the time um becky can attest to that but yeah i can <laughs> But I think we've learned a lot as people, not just the ministry team who have been doing it, but hopefully um, everyone who's been engaging with the worship has learned um, a deepening um, of their, their own personal faith. Um, there's that big thing about privatising faith now. Um, which, and I think, you know, personal faith is really important in that so yeah I don't really have sorry I was gonna say I don't really have much to add to that I think that embracing change is probably just the way forward thank you both as I say again it's been such a joy to have you with us and we've learned so much from you and I'm always very optimistic about the future of the church when I spend time with young people like you. Um, I think the church is in really good hands <laughs> and uh, it's really exciting, I think, um, all of the possibilities that you offer us. So thank you so much for all that you've given us this year. Um, you have changed us and that's a really good thing. We hope you enjoyed this video. If you'd like to know more about the scheme or are interested in joining us, feel free to get in contact with us using the contact details on the screen. Thank you for watching.